So I'm really an entrepreneur who thought that age 45, it'd be a great time to go from 20 years of white collar work sitting at a desk to farming in the Texas heat, the hurricanes that we have, the storms that we have. Um, before we get started, did, did everybody here eat breakfast this morning? Okay. Uh, did anybody have any nutritious breakfast, not the Shipley Donuts or the Jack in the Box? Did anybody have nutritious breakfasts? That's good, good. Anybody have eggs? Eggs, wholesome eggs. Milk? Milk, okay, yeah. Um, if you're like most people, you probably went to Kroger or HEB, or maybe you were out of eggs, so you ran down to the Valero. <laughs> and <coughs> because we're... We always want to do the right thing. You know, we might have picked up a carton of eggs that said cage-free hens because who wants chickens in cages? That's crazy. We want cage-free, happy chickens because there's nothing better than a happy chicken. Uh, because we don't want our chickens harming any other animals in the process of eating, you might have been led to buy the eggs that said vegetarian fed. Who buys the vegetarian fed eggs? E e Raise your hand again. Yeah, you do that. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, if you were if you're going to upgrade your game on your your eggs, you might have picked the one that said organic. Okay. <coughs> and if you're you're like me and most other people, we all have bad things that we eat, and we know we're eating them, and that's okay. We want to try to do the right thing and balance out what we're eating with something healthy every now and then. So if you were like me, I'd go to the store and I'd say, oh, look at all these vitamins and all this fancy stuff that I've heard of, but I don't really know exactly what it is, but it sounds good. Uh, this carton says that they are most trusted by shoppers. <laughs> so somewhere you took a poll and you voted these guys the best, most trusted <laughs> eggs. And then maybe you saw this fancy carton. It says ethical eggs <coughs> on it. <laughs> Chickens living in fresh air and sunshine. There's an important word on here, though, that I do want you to remember, and that's pasture raised. Okay, that's something we're looking for. That's good. But the question that I would have on this carton is, well, where's the farm? Like, how do I see these chickens? Okay. So to give you a little tip, if you look on the back of any carton, and, and this tape is here to protect certain people's brands, but if you look on the back of a carton, it'll tell you the locations and the plant numbers and the states where these eggs came from. So this one has about six or seven different states that the eggs could have come from. Okay. Um, I like milk. My favorite milk is actually raw milk from a raw milk dairy in northwest Harris County. Um, but if I run out, it's not convenient for me to drive 15 or 20 minutes to that raw milk dairy. Even though I love the milk, it's a different product than regular milk. So I go to the store, and because I want to do the right thing, I buy the organic milk. Kind of knowing what's behind the curtain but ignoring it a little bit. And because I saw this has DHA in it, I thought, well, I've, I've heard of DHA. It looks like some vitamin thing is probably good for me. I thought, sure, I'm going to get the milk with the DHA. Now, this is a month ago. So I get home, and I'm thinking about DHA. What is DHA? Where does that come from? So I do what you would do. I Google it. You know, I could have just looked on the back of the label, but DHA comes from refined fish oil. And I thought to myself, I don't want fish in my milk, like in any, <laughs> any form or fashion. I love fish. Fish is healthy. Fish is great. I like fishing. But I don't want fish in my milk, plain and simple. And so, you know, if, if you ate fruits or berries or strawberries, Again, you might have upped your game and you, you went to Whole Foods and you got the organic strawberries. Uh, you're trying to do the right thing, get the cage-free chickens. So what is it that we're, we're really eating? You know, what, what's really going on? 
So when you go and you buy something that says USDA organic, that does not mean no pesticides, no fungicides, no herbicides. The Organic Manufacturers Review Institute will compare a company's pesticide product, fungicide, whatever it is, against the rules established by the USDA for organics to see if it meets that criteria. It doesn't represent the purity that in our brains we're thinking, okay? Because in your mind, when you buy the cage-free eggs, the organic eggs, you're thinking, this chicken laid eggs out in the grass. And Leslie went and handpicked these eggs, and she wiped off each egg, and she put it in a carton where she conveniently delivered it to Kroger, and you went and picked it up. So that, that's our perception, okay? But, but what is the reality? Well, here's the reality of cage-free. Turn to your neighbor and say, congratulations, you're cage-free. As long as you never leave this room and you never see sunshine, you are cage-free in, in this room. So when you see these terms on a carton, they're just that. It's, mar it's food marketing. It's you know, words like farm fresh. Well, what does that mean? Well, I know one thing it means. It means that if I get grade A eggs, they can at least be three weeks old. Okay, if I get grade double A, that's zero to three weeks. So what does farm fresh mean? It means nothing. What does natural mean? Absolutely nothing. Animal welfare rated. Okay, one of these cartons is going to have animal welfare rated. Okay, what's the welfare that we see here? There's some great people at the USDA, the Farm Service Agency, uh, NRCS, that really try to help farmers. And I think genuinely their heart is in the right place. They're trying to do the right thing. But like any system that we have in government, as many businesses, as many farmers, it's very difficult to police what's going on. Um, Non-GMO. It's a big movement for non-GMO, but non-GMO doesn't mean no pesticides. It just means it can't test positive for pesticide residue when they test it. So whether I'm buying animal feed or you're buying human feed, you know, you have to take these terms with a grain of salt, okay, because it's not, it's not clear. You know, what are we supporting in America when we eat Chicken, we eat a lot of chicken. Everywhere you go, chicken, Taco Bell, restaurants, wherever, store. When we are buying organic milk, what does that mean? Okay, if you go to cornucopia.org, cornucopia.org, they attempt to list and kind of police and to establish an independent rating on brand names, whether it be, you know, Costco, Borden, whoever it is. To give it an actual <coughs> animal welfare rating, and then to um, you know open up and display any problems or, pr or practices that may be going on. Um, in my mind, when I think of an organic dairy, I think of cows on grass, but that's not necessarily what we're getting. When I think of turkey, I try not to think of this picture or the American meat chicken. You know, we grow chickens in America in a in a warehouse, and we grow 50,000 at a time. Every eight weeks, 50,000 chickens just rotating from chick to finish through this, this process. You know, the environmental disasters, the, the runoff, the manure, you know, what are we supporting? And, and what's the problem? The problem is it's so easy. It's easy to go to the Valero, to the Kroger, to the HEB. You want a lime? Go to any of those places. You can get one. Food-like substances, we become so used to just taking for granted wherever we go that someone's going to give us food that we don't think about. Is it healthy? Is it, does it even taste like food? Is it, is it real? And most important, there's a, there's a lack and a detachment of us from our farmers, okay, which is the big key of what's missing. Everybody needs a farmer. You got a doctor, you got a lawyer, you got a plumber. You got a child care person. When's the last time your friends went on Facebook and said, hey, can you give me a reference for a farmer? 
It's crazy. Why? Who would do that? There's farmers all around here, okay? You may not see them. You probably would never see them because they, we don't spend money on advertising. We don't spend money on marketing. There's not going to be any full-page ad. There's a lot of farmers markets down here in the Houston urban area. There are farms all around here, okay? If you don't have a relationship with a farmer, get a relationship. Get a referral relationship, okay? Come out and actually see a farm. How crazy is that, that you would actually drive to the farm to actually see what goes on, to look at the ground, to look at the practices of how animals are being raised, to look in the barn. If you find 10 drums, 10 55-gallon drums of Roundup, you might want to ask some questions, okay? If you know your farmer, you know what you're getting, you know what you're eating, you know what you're putting in your body, okay? You need to literally see that ground with your eyes, Things that you can do in your community. If you need organic chicken, we'll grow your organic chicken. If you need non-soy eggs for 100 people because you're part of a cancer survivors group, ask, where can I get non-soy eggs? They're around. If you eat duck eggs, whatever you need, it's available to you. Again, when you go to a farm, look at the ground. Look at how the animals are raised. Talk to the farmer. Okay, this, this can make a big difference in the health of the food that you get, your family gets, to balance out the things that we like to do that maybe aren't as good for us. And again, these farms are all around. So we encourage you, if you need a, need a relationship, contact us. We'll refer you vegetables, eggs, ducks, whatever it may be. My name's Mike, and I'm a farmer. <laughs>